Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Okay, okay. So, Scorpio. What I was getting on the pre-shuffle here was that somebody's making you an offer that you don't want. Queen of Wands. So, male or female, they're in their feminine energy. And whatever this was that was being offered, you were not paying attention. Because I don't think you wanted it. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you don't want something, you don't want something. That's good enough reason for me. What is crossing you? Empress. Okay. So this person could have a lot of pull uh, in in uh, in Neverland here. And they think that they have control over your life and they could just hold up or, or stop you in some way because you they think you're alone. All right. I do feel like somebody is looking into this. Either you or somebody else is looking into this Virgo energy. They're trying desperately to hold your growth up because they want a piece of it. I think you're a very powerful energy here, Scorpio. Whether they know it or not, they, they think that they're doing something here, but... In reality, they're just paying people to do something here. All of that's about to be exposed. Like I said, they're trying to hold up your money. They're trying to hold up some kind of blessing here that you can empower yourself with. A king of pentacles and an empress. Could be a Virgo. What is in the immediate future? Two of Swords. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Collaboration. The end of a collaboration with a lover. Oh, Gemini energy. The end of a collaboration somebody from your past is messing with your money trying to affect your home and stability because they're in competition with you death card oh they are really really trying this whatever it is i mean it, they they could be trying to destroy your home in some way It could be a, a marriage or a relationship because it's the emperor and the empress here. They're, they're trying to get in the way of this. Some Somebody wants to take a leap of faith in your direction. Ah, and the devil got a tower. Oh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries, Energy with Libra and Taurus. They want to stop whatever this is from happening. A significant relationship. Outside influence is the Nine of Pentacles. Six of Wands and the... And, okay. So you're about to get some kind of news that's going to be quite shocking. And I feel like it's, it's somebody who's trying to um, win here at all costs over a nine of pentacles somebody who's single somebody who's doing okay for themselves somebody who's like comfortable in their own skin this is this could be a whole married couple trying to come at you for what reason because of your strength 
they're really, really upset because you're strong. Because you can, you can handle life on your own. And they want to, they want to destroy that. They want, they want to make you feel like you're weak and powerless to confuse you. They're, they're doing this in the immediate future. So understand that this is all energetic and they're trying to make you not believe in yourself in some way, shape, or form. Justice will prevail here. And the, and, and the truth shall set you free. Because, viewer, you are the star. You are the justice here. Just by being yourself, by choosing the healing process and standing in your truth no matter what. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Libra. Whoever these people are, they are really testing your faith at this point. And understand that that is part of the ascension. It's haters will test you and what, what was... Oh, one of my teachers was telling me that, um, God, what was she calling them? She was calling them, uh, some kind of a, uh, like an Agent Smith type energy. And they want to block your Ten of Cups. They want to block your happiness, your fortune, your, your third eye. They're doing an awful lot of magic here. And all, I feel like some kind of smoke screen to keep you from from realizing either your true potential or from a, a significant relationship that's coming in. Because with the emperor and empress here, these are two very powerful people. And I feel like this is their last ditch effort to try to stop whatever this is. They may be forced to apologize. They may be forced to not. I mean, and, and, I, and I, I feel like maybe they don't have nothing to lose. They don't have nothing to lose at this point. Maybe they got money, but that's all they got. That's all they got. I mean, money's nice and all, but, you know, as I stated in, in the general reading, um... Your power is here, not out there. And these people don't realize that, you know, you can't buy everybody. Just because some of them... are more materialistic than others. Like I said, whoever this person is from your past could be a Scorpio... They're trying to put you here, okay? Make you feel like you're left out and wanting. Like you're holding on to that last pinnacle with everything you got. They want to stop whatever you got going on here. That is the death card. But you're going through a transformation anyway. They want you to block love. Because that is your that is your uh justice here. You may not see it yet, but whoever this person is, they want to block like I said, this significant relationship. They want you to block it yourself and be confused. And that's what they're working on. They're working on they're working on your psyche. This could be a Virgo. I'm serious. Somebody who's really, really stalking you. That you... is keeping secrets and you don't see this person. They're stalking you at work. And they're trying to make you let go of a Ten of Cups. You can't fake that. Who is this King of Pentacles, Spirit? Who is this King of Pentacles?
They're definitely trying to stop some kind of a significant relationship here. Yeah. So they, they may have already... Um, already gotten in the person's energy that was coming towards you and kind of they're trying to make you let go of your power here I, I, I just can't even I can't even see it any other way they're trying to make you let go of your power this family so you'll give up your ten of cups your wish fulfillment your ultimate emotional happiness you don't want somebody here and because you didn't want them now they're trying to destroy you So they're trying to make you believe or, or be confused about this new beginning. And cause you a perpetual illusion about your Ten of Cups. Which could have something to do with your work. Like I said, whoever these people are, they're stalking you. They're stalking you online, especially if you're in the Nine of Pentacles. I think you turned somebody down here, Scorpio, and, and, and in doing so, uh, now they want, now they're out to destroy you because you don't want them. Like I said, in the immediate future, they're going to try real desperately to confuse you about money, about justice, about a choice that you made making you think that the choice that you made wasn't the right choice for you and if you don't want something you don't want something and it, it it makes no sense to me what is this emperor and this fool about spirit what is this emperor and this fool about can't make it up so they're trying to outdo you, trying to strong arm you in some way because they've got power at your work. They could work at wherever you work and they've got some kind of pool here and they're really trying to mess with your mind. Trying to make you go into some kind of confusion some kind of whatever I don't know it, it, it's weird so they want your fortune okay they want your wheel of fortune this queen of pentacles Sagittarius from your past heavily burdened confused betrayal Ten of Swords. The magic is over. Whoever this person is, they know that they've got nothing left to lose here. So they're going to try to take you with them. So you don't see an offer coming in of a brand new beginning. So, like I said, they want you to stop what you're doing. They want you to give up hope. They want you to let go of your power. And they're going out of their way to do so to stop a significant relationship from coming in. They don't want you to be seen. They don't want anybody to um, to be able to get to you. Work and the tower. They're trying to destroy your work. Trying to destroy your job. Because... Maybe maybe they were the third wheel or they are the third wheel and they and they, they want to stop you from growing. So you all can't meet. Don't know what that means. I just like I said Nine of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. 
Somebody is doing the utmost here to hurt you. And it's more than one person here. And they're doing it out of obsession. They're doing it because they have some kind of power. But this is an abuse of power. A serious abuse of power. World. Four of Swords, Three of Wands, Sagittarius. So these obsessive people, whoever they are, that are going out of their way to try to destroy you before you get to this significant relationship or significant partnership. There could just be a work partnership that they're trying to stop. The Divine has the, the wheel here. And they can't stop anything because justice will be served one way or the other. And you got to choose to heal and you got to choose to keep moving no matter what they do to you. Like I said, they're trying to take your money and leave you out in the cold. And if you need a confirmation, here it is. Trying to make you settle for something that probably isn't of your highest good. Because they think that they're justified in their actions. You're going to get it anyway. No matter what these people try to do, you're going to get it anyway, viewer. They want you to feel like you ain't got a chance in hell. That if they don't do it for you, you're not going to get it. And if you believe that, it will certainly manifest itself. Yeah. whole bunch of people. Working by the pale moonlight to win at all costs. And they think they're going to win. Trying to leave you out in the cold. A group of people. Pisces, Aquarius, Libra energy here. Because they don't, they don't want you to have some kind of a relationship. Look, they're... Look, they're stalking you from behind the scenes. Look. So, Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Wands. Stalking you behind the scenes. Secretly. Going out of their way to use their pull or their um, power here. To take you down, to take you out, to put you in the Five of Pentacles. Why? Why? Because they got power? Well, that's a serious abuse of power. Caution. Identity. Reward. Okay, so they want your they want your will of fortune. They want your they want your destiny. They want whatever's coming to you. And and they're they're really gonna try. You need to trust and surrender. You're almost there. You're almost there. Divinity, everything's surface level at this point. Reward, surrender, influence. Somebody wants to take away your influence if you have any. And they want to stop a relationship from coming together. It's a whole group. It's a whole group. Trying to gaslight a loner. Energy harvesting. Intention. Gaslighting a loner. Because they're strong by themselves. And the Nine of Pentacles. And they want to stop a romantic relationship. Spell. Vampire. Yeah, they, these are vampires. 
These are people who suck the life out of others for their own gain. They got no they got they got nothing to offer anybody here. And your confidence is definitely challenging for them. Cuz they're in the shadows and they want they want to rule you. Everybody wants to rule the world. Gaslighting, empowerment, checkmate, collaboration, morals. These people are getting sick because of their secrets. Whatever, the, whatever secrets that they're keeping here, it's making them sick. And like I said, I do feel like these people have nothing to lose at this point. That's why they're coming after a privileged lady. They're coming after this empress. They want this emperor to let go of this empress. They want this emperor to walk away and leave this empress out in the cold because they don't want the two of them coming together for the kind of influence that they got to offer the world. Somebody's expecting a child. Like I said, it, they're really trying to stop some kind of a significant relationship or leadership uh, situation. They want to make sure that you pay. Yeah, look. Bad health, want you in poverty. High honor, you know. Oh, wow. So look. They want you in bad health. They're thinking about your money more than you are. And they're trying to put you in poverty. Mask, not showing their true feelings, outdated thinking, clarity, truth, revelation. You're getting that. You're seeing these people with their masks on. I feel like people are using... Um, social media to try to end you in some way. I mean, if that's just your own personal social media or if you have a business online, chaser in a codependent relationship, yeah. So, you may see them as this. Somebody who wears a mask, somebody who's false, somebody who isn't who they say they are. And that they have abandonment issues of some kind. Yeah, they're definitely looking at your pictures. You need to keep a positive mindset no matter what. Because somebody's trying to put you in a poor house here. Somebody's here to try to take what you have. But as long as you keep a positive mindset here, you will manifest exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss. And here's the engagement, partnership, commitment, etern eternity, completion, and union. So that they're they're desperate here, viewer. They're they're desperate. They're trying to influence you into not seeing whatever this is coming towards you. They may have already influenced the other person, tried to make you look like you're. Uh, you're not what you say you are, or, you, or, or, yeah. It's time to be brave. Ghost people, yeah. These people are ghosts in the machine. They're really trying to take you out through technology. It's time for a treat. You see clearly clairvoyance. The past returns for a time. So, yeah, these people are from your past. And I feel like somebody is... I don't even want to go there. But um, I feel like whoever these people are, that they're... They're all in cahoots with each other trying to affect your confidence and your stability, your four of wands, so you don't get the destined outcome that you're supposed to get here.
messages for a rabbit. Services to the animal world. Ah, that reminds me of a lady that um that said when I sent her her bracelet, her cat came up and kept rubbing up against it. <laughs> Aw. Empty words. Not living in the now. Manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. This is what I'm saying. So, staying in a high vibe regardless of what's going on here. There's a lot going on here all around you. You may not see it because of the, the Two of Swords in the immediate future. These people are, are definitely in, in a regretful... Um, yeah, nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. They want you to feel like you made a mistake here in turning them down or, or walking away from them. Yeah, nonsense. It's time to... It's time to talk sense. Make it make sense, spirit. And, and, and we can talk sense. I mean, this this makes no sense to me at all. Why anybody would do this? You know, I mean, especially if you're, you know, you're not, I mean, you might be a big deal, a bigger deal than, than what you think, viewer, because these people are going, doing a hell of a lot to try to stop you from being who you are so you might have a lot more going on than you think yeah disruption towers falling everywhere they want to disrupt your balance because you're standing your ground they're mad because you blocked them and decided to retreat into solitude so, on the outside of your life, they're trying to disrupt your harmony, your balance, your peace. Because, like I said, you might be an earth angel. You might be something more than you think you are. And if they can disrupt that, then you'll never find your power. And that's what they want to make you give up. Trying to make you give up your power to them so they can have your blessings. Alrighty then. Letting go. Honoring the journey. And reclaiming your power. So you are letting go of this. You know divine timing is on your side. You're forgiving yourselves and others. It's a process of emotions. Honoring the journey. Don't rush. Experience life and respect others. Allow messes. Allow messes. Because there will be some, especially with all these people trying to disrupt your power, disrupt your harmony. Know that your willpower is, is important here. Your self-mastery is very important. Allow for any kind of messes that might be made on the way. Because, you know, when you're trying to uh, upgrade your life, there will always be Agent Smiths in the Matrix trying to destroy it. Because you're strong. And they, they want you to be weak. And they want you to chase. And they want you to be a ban a, an abandonment issue here. They keep trying to touch that wound to try to get to, to disrupt your entire flow. To try to disrupt your entire flow.
same two cards as if you want to watch the general reading go watch the general reading because same two cards came out for the general reading just now okay so we got the keeper of the scales upright and the rainbow prince upright so this is going to happen regardless of what anybody does here they can keep trying but it's still going to happen balance and fairness and compensation and perseverance it's still going to happen even even though these people or whoever they are that in power they're trying their best to destroy what you have going on here. They want you to give up. They want you to say mercy. They didn't know who you was. All right. So this says the law of harmony is enacted when the keeper of the scales comes to you as an ally. Align with her as the law states, making your conscious choices and create balance in your life. When you do, you magically align with the abundance of the universe and the powerful forces of synchronicity. This creates conditions and possibilities that lead to fulfillment of your highest intention. Harmony begins with the self. Didn't I say that? And then resonates outwards to others. You're in harmony with yourself when you nurture your se yourself with love, respect, and acceptance. Always fully taking responsibility for your actions. Only then can you be in harmony with others. This is because love is the central force that connects all life and aligns you with like-minded others. Another message is restoration and the positive fair resolution in all disputes, including those involving the legal system or other important exchanges. The keeper of the scales is just a, a just and kind ally, always making sure balance is activated on your path. And then the rainbow prince, 72. All right, turned right to it, wow. So it says, when the rainbow prince appears as your ally, he reminds you that the law of compensation and the law of receiving after the rainstorm you've endured on your journey, the Rainbow Prince brings you a pot of gold, which is the result of you using all the elements of your inner light and reaching the sky until you touch the material realm from one end to the other. This isn't always an easy process, and hard work must be rewarded by compensation. When you align yourself with the energy of giving highest value, your compensation is inherent in the act itself. But the message here is more important than that. The Rainbow Prince says keep your sights on the sky after the rainstorms that may have upset your life. Follow your bliss to the pot of gold waiting for you. Perseverance pays off and your reward will be greater than you can imagine. I can't think of a better way to end that reading. Alright, my baby dragons, please remember to press the like button, subscribe and share. And I'll see you at 3 o'clock for the live stream. Take care. Bye for now.